2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Zurich Classic of New Orleans is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hello everyone, I'm Luke Elvey. Great to have my mate Rich Bean beside me. And Rich, as this next player begins their round, what do you think of their chances here today? Well, with such a small lead, Luke, I think that they need to produce something solid. The small leads are no fun. I mean, you're out in the lead and you're excited about that, but it can be lost so quickly if they're not careful. One bad, one bad decision could wreck it for them. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Just putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. Ooh. Par putt coming up here. And well hold. Let's move on. And after that hole, leading Gary Woodland by two strokes. Here we are at the second tee. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. It's time for another highlight. Let's head to the 17th hole. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? Good look here for a second shot. Let's return to live play now. This shot from around 210 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. But in for birdie. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. And he needs this to save par. Ooh, right by the hole. And this next putt, it's for bogey. And down it goes. Currently at 10 under par overall. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. That reminded me of the big easy, silky smooth. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. This is their fifth shot. And back to the course with the live action. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. It's got a chance. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And in it goes. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. It's time to begin this powerful hole.
<laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the fifth. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? An opportunity to make their par. Okay, let's head to the next. Sitting at 10 under par for the event. We've arrived at a par four hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Going with the five wood. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance here for the birdie. All right, John, how's this putt looking? It's got to be over, over 40 feet, maybe 41 feet to the cup from here. Ouch, that hurts. Three feet to go here to the hole. Nicely hold, and for par. Just one off the lead after that hole. You've arrived at a par five. There are two menacing bunkers on this hole. The far one, the one right in the middle of the fairway, it looks like a zit from the back tee box. That is not the place to be. Handy effort, that one. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. Chance to change his fortunes on the green. This would be a good one to make. Never quite hit that. That will drive you bats. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. Five wins so far this season. Oh, come on, sit. That's just inside the range. 20 feet to the cup. He's on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. And that makes him tied for first. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine.
Seems to have chosen the three wood. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green and reg here. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Well, well holes. He'll take the birdie. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 10th. That's a good looking shot there. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Hey, nice looking line. This is a par putt. And the putt drops and we're moving on. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. That's uh, heading for the fairway. <laughs> Going with a three wood here. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's further right than they wanted. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Time to recap Billy Horschel's effort from just a short time ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it. But for it to go in, that's awesome. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they should be able to deal with this. I think it's ended up sitting pretty good here in the sand. Well, the putt is going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. It to go down. Wow, what a save. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. <laughs> Leading by a shot after that hole. You've arrived at a par four. Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on their 13th hole.
Come on, get down. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Oh, just missed. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the three wood. Nothing good out on the right hand side, Luke. This headed for trouble. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. That's some good golf right there. And just about eight feet left to the hole. I like the look of this. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That dog will hunt. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. 11 feet left to the hole. This is a good chance. Okay, steady now. This one's for bogey. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? This is a dicey lie, guys. Really deep rough here, and uh, it's really thick too. Hopefully they can, uh, hopefully they can deal with this and be on their way shortly. Good look at birdie here. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in third place. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Opting for the five wood. That doesn't look good, Rich. Bit too far right for my liking. Well, a little off the target with that one. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. You get a share of second if you can make this putt. That was a gallant attempt. Bogey putt coming up here. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. John, give us a small update. Down on hole number 18 as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And Gary Woodland currently leading the field as I speak. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Looking to bounce back after that bogey at the last. That wasn't pretty. Hopefully this one is better. <laughs> a 
well struck. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Quality shot, that one. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. Yeah, that's an easy way to finish. The tap in par. Okay, Rich, just around the play now. An exciting finish we've got coming up. Luke, tomorrow, final, final. Can't wait. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.